Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello all students in the Ross service which is targeted to their secondary grade first semester uh, English language. Our lesson today is uh, Unit 5 Form, Meaning and Function, Mega Goal 5, prepared and presented by Noura Asafiani. So all of you are welcome and let's start. We'll learn today words connected with shopping habits and conditional sentences with present and future forms. First of all, what are your shopping habits? Everyone has his own shopping habits. Um, for example, some people like to uh, shop from the nearest shops or small shops uh, which are near their houses some people like or prefer to uh, shop online so they prefer online shopping so what about you what are your shopping habits and that's what we will know okay today so first of all shopping mall there are different words that are related or connected with shopping mall, like wide range of products. If you go to shopping mall, you will find variety of products and discounts. You will find discounts, okay, on shopping mall. Food courts. The food courts is the area that you can eat in and entertainment. There are amazing theme parks uh, in these uh, shopping malls. We can say that you will find luxury life uh, there, okay, it's luxurious. So here we have this sentence, luxurious shopping malls provide entertainment, food and good discounts on products. So these words, luxurious, entertainment, food, discounts, uh, wide range of products, all these words connected with shopping mall. Now, what about small stores? small stores friendly service neighborhood helpful stuff appealing atmosphere and convenient location so friendly service because uh, you will not find a lot of people inside these stores small stores and neighborhood and convenient location uh, it means that it's something it's the places which are uh, near your house you can reach these stores easily Helpful stuff, uh, the workers inside these shops, okay, they are helpful and appealing atmosphere, pleasing atmosphere in these stores. Look at this sentence here. Small neighborhood stores offer a friendly personal service. These are the small stores. Small neighborhood stores offer a friendly personal service. What about the last choice here we have a lot shopping a lot shopping it's the easiest way to shop all right um you have to use the net or your laptop or your mobile or wherever and you have to uh, pay by mastercard or credit cards right so here the words that are related to a lot shopping convenient door-to-door -door delivery fast wide range of products and pay by card you can pay cash right so these are for the online shopping okay online shopping is becoming more and more popular as it's convenient fast and you can pay by credit card these are the words that are related to online shopping now let's move to the form meaning and function you can use conditional sentences with if to talk about causes and results. So today we will deal with the conditional sentences or if clauses uh, to talk about causes and results. Here we have present facts, future facts, may or might, I'd rather, I'd prefer, and how we will use if clause in these three parts here. For example here, if you heat water to 100 centigrade, it boils. This is a fact, alright? 
it's a fact. So if we have a fact, how can we use the verb in this sentence? If you drive the BMX 300, people will notice and admire you. So here, it's a future fact. It's a fact, but it will happen in the future. So uh, the structure will be different okay, from the present facts. Number three, may I might, if, if you have yet worn planning marker sneakers, you may not be performing to your best ability. So here, may I might, it's not a fact, okay? It's, it's uh, possible, but you are not certain. So here we have to use may or might, okay? The last part here, I'd rather or I'd prefer to talk about your preference, I'd rather go shopping, I'd prefer to stay home, I don't want to spend a lot of my money. We'll locate uh, all these in details. First of all, present facts. How can we uh, deal with present facts in F clause or conditional F? Look at this sentence. If you pick a fish out of water, it dies. What do you think about this sentence? It's fact. It's fact. So because it's a fact, okay, we have to use present form, present verb, okay? If you pick a fish out of water, pick, it dies. So here we have to use that simple present tense in both clauses, in the cause clause and in the result clause, all right? Cause clause or if clause, okay, if you pick a fish out of water, this is a cause clause or if clause, here we have to use the present simple tense, and here this, the second part is the result clause, we have to use also the present simple tense, okay? What about future facts? If I get free breakfast, I'll get fat. This is fact. Okay, it's a fact, all right? Uh, so here, because it's a fact, and the result here, okay, will happen in the future. So here we use future tense in the result part. If I get a free breakfast, I'll get. So here in the first part, or in if close, we use the present or simple present tense. But in the result close, I have to use future with be going to or will and the base form. Okay? Now, what about here? May and might. If they get married, they may have problems later. So here, it's something which is possible. It's possible to get married. But, okay, they may have problems later, uh, but I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Using me here, it means that I'm not certain something which is possible so this is the cause if they get married the cause the result okay i'm not certain about the result okay but it may happen so here i use may or might use may or might in the result clause to suggest something is possible but not certain you aren't sure about the result what about here i'd rather or i'd prefer Use I'd rather, which means, or it's abbreviation of I would rather, to talk about pre preferences. So here it means that you prefer something. You like this more than this. This is the meaning of preferences here. I'd rather say I do it than say I gave up. I'd rather say I do it than say I gave up. I prefer to say I do it then say i gave up so here i would rather it means that i prefer something more than the other okay let's see the evaluation here complete the conditional sentences use the present and future forms of verbs now let's start with the first sentence here if i buy a new laptop i be happy now here we have a conditional sentence uh, consists of two clauses. The first one is if close or cause close and the second one is the result close. If we start with if close we have to end this close with comma all right but if we start with the result close we don't need to use comma here. Is that clear? 
Now, if I buy a new laptop, I be happy. What do you think? Is that a present fact or a future fact? Okay, so it's a future fact. So here, in the in the cause clause or in if clause, we have to use the present simple tense. If I buy, okay, if I buy a new laptop, I be happy. What do you think here? I have to use the present or future? Of course, I have to use I will be happy. I'll be happy. Okay, what about the second part here? But if I not get one, I need to do the assignment on my dad's computer. So here, I have to use also the present simple here. If I don't have, okay, one, I need to do the assignment on my dad's computer. So here also I will need, okay, I'll need to do the assignment on my dad's computer. Okay, so these are the answers. If I buy, present, a new laptop, I'll be happy, but if I don't have one, I'll need to do the assignment on my dad's computer. Number two, if it rain a lot this week, the team not be able to practice for the big game. So if it rain a lot this week, the team, is it a present fact or future fact? This week. Okay, so here it's a future fact. So here we have to use the present simple in the first part or in the in the close close and the uh, future in the result close. If it rains, okay, a lot this week, the team not be able to practice. The team won't, okay, be able to practice for the big game. If the weather be nice, the team practice every afternoon. So if the weather is nice, the team practice every, so the team will practice. Okay, so the team will practice every afternoon. We'll learn today conditional sentences with if. For the present facts, if the facts okay are in the present, so we have to use the present simple tense in both clauses, in the close clause or if clause and in the result clause. If the facts are in the future, so we have to use the present simple in the first part or in the if clause and the future form in the result clause. May a mind indicate that the result is possible, but it's, you are not sure uh, about the result. I'd rather and I'd prefer is used to uh, indicate preference, okay, what you, you like more than the other, okay? So this is uh, our lesson today. For reference here, you can go over the box, mega goal for student box, a mega goal for teacher guy, and also Google clip. Are for pictures and for more information listen here you have the website for Ryan and the Twitter account and the number that you can call this is everything for today hope to see you inshallah next time goodbye